Welcome aboard everyone, Simon here from the Wales of Wall Street. We have a NetVerk uh, N-E-T-V-R-K update, so that's N-T-V-R-K on the exchange. Um, guys, it's one of my favourite projects, I haven't got any, I think I've reiterated that in a video before, <laughs> that is the one that got away. Um, truly, I think it's something I might have to just jump into right now because I, I don't really know where it's going. Um, I just see positivity constantly around this, but we'll go into the chart in a moment's time. But first of all, thank you for those who have subscribed to our channel. Um, if you have not done so already, please do so. Um, and we are shooting through subscribers right now on the way to 4,000. Can't believe how quick that is. So thank you for your support. But let's jump into network, guys. So those that don't know, this is very much, um, in my opinion, the actual first game of a whole Ready Player One scenario, the ability to customize and create your own lands using VR and everything. And I came across this one perhaps in April this year. Um, I've done a few videos on it, both introductory and you know, update ones recently, and in more so the metaverse launches and things like that. Um, but for me, this is a fully kind of game that I, I believe is one of the key f fundamental building blocks of metaverse. Um, you'll see why when you go and research yourselves on the website or go and check our intro videos that I'll leave links to at the end of this one. But let's see some few, uh, recent developments, guys. So a casino, obviously, is a big thing in Metaverse right now. Of course, the play-to-earn um, aspect of everything. The Meta launch recently through Facebook's change of name. Um, and it, it's really quite amazing, really, guys, because if you think about how many people are now going to enter this, think how many Facebook followers or uh, Facebook users there are sorry in the world and you just change your name to meta and all of a sudden people aren't realizing what this is there's gonna be a multitude of people coming into these games and these worlds over this these few years coming right and one of these big things is casinos whether you agree with that or not uh, the fact of the matter is people like casinos people like playing to earn people like arguably losing money for some reason um but yeah i i will admit i like the roulette for sure i don't go mad i take 20 pound um and that's my night um if i come out winning fantastic if i don't it's like if i go to the arcades or something it's just a bit of fun a bit of adrenaline and excitement i just literally don't even take my card in i just take my 20 pound and i, I go and cash that in for a, a, some chips and that's it but for those out there that are like the aspect of gambling and things, um, you know, that's not something we promote on this channel, of course, but, you know, let's be realistic. People like to do it. And when you've got the option to do it in a virtual world, I always question virtual gambling and stuff because, you, you know, like it's it's not something you can. I know you appreciate like gambling is like 50 50 anyway, especially if you're on like a personal, like physical table or something like that. But you feel like there's an interaction with a real person, right? But virtually anything can happen. It's like the lottery, right? Once all that they stopped all Mystic Megan stuff here in the UK, you're caught kind of sitting there going, who's actually like pressing these buttons these days? Who's actually picking these balls out? And then you just don't know who's who's doing it. And, but anyway, so there's loads of stuff going on in that, and I think that's gonna be it's gonna be great to be able to go to that. Even if it was with fake money, I'd go there um, and just have fun, really, uh, on poker and stuff. But um, let's see how that portrays. This is incredible, guys. This is incredible. So network, metaverse, and blockchain, as we know, the staking, guys, for land, right, all sold out. How much was this worth? It was worth $4 million on this launch of land. It is all gone. So you know, how many network tokens you need plus the USDC? There's a substantial amount of money. Uh, there's some still left here. 20,000 networking, I don't know, if you've got money, you know, it might be a good idea. But this is around the NFTs of vehicles. So the land has gone. You've got a few items left. This has been dropped quite recently. But look at that. They're all nearly gone already. I wouldn't mind one of these. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I just don't have 70,000 network. And I certainly don't have 10,000 USDC flowing about. It's all in investments right now. So, guys, there's people out there with a substantial amount of money and liquidity in network to be able to do this. And it gives you an emphasis of people getting ahead of the game, um, which is quite phenomenal, really. Um, I kind of put it alongside the games like SimCity and Sims, which is pretty much the same company. Uh, but 
I'm trying to think of a game like Minecraft kind of thing, but it's it's so next level in terms of the the engine that's been used for the gaming aspect and the terrains and your ability to go in and manipulate your own world and put buy land, sell land, but actually create, be creative in the world. And this is, in my opinion, is the game that's truly very linked to that Ready Player One film mentality. Um, and you'll see what I mean when you go and do your own research and check out the you know, the trailers and everything. But uh, here's another one as well, based around the partnership of um, Deep Space, I think it's called, but it's called D-Space, the actual partnership. Um, Protocol, uh, so bringing NFT marketplace to life, uh, utilizing network as well. So just a bit of a little announcement now. I think that's going to be absolutely phenomenal. And then finally, Game Station and Network Vehicles, which we just kind of covered just a moment ago. Um, so this is very much bringing this NFT aspect of vehicle applications. So this is, oh, if they bought out a Tron vehicle, how cool would that be? I think a bit of a licensing issue with Disney maybe, but that motorcycle certainly really shouts out to me, Tron and that one, Roadster. Not so much these, mm, actually maybe. If you've seen Tron, the new one, especially Legacy, um, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But this is very, I don't know why you need a yacht like that, but you know parties i guess so yeah loads available there's been some drops there's been some competitions and you know if you're able to get hold of these and you're getting something at the value of ten thousand dollars then fair play and if you sell it i wouldn't be angry with you but i'd be saying hold on to them because you know what's coming in a few years time for sure so very interesting stuff going on with the game chart wise i haven't got a massive amount to really talk about hugely and we made that emphasis before because it was wrapped with ethereum previously there's not too many uh, exchange informations out there um i suppose we could pull up coin market cap in a second actually so whilst i do that um we should reflect on this these kind of moves here so obviously we had the the launch here specifically on qcoin um, I, I think I have to just jump in and bite the bullet and just say, look, I missed out originally. I need to get involved in this game. I believe in it massively, so much so that yeah, I should have. I should have not been late. I'm still angry. Can you tell? I should not have been lazy and thought, oh, it's on Uniswap or this, that, and the other. Uh, I should have just gone and done it, whatever's required. Because look at this, like um, this move in general from this launch aspect has been phenomenal. Uh, the low point here of $1, we, we're now floating at the five, so fantastic gains already made in that aspect. We haven't got any indicated detail, unfortunately, in terms of percentage performances, but you see still the buy mentality is kicking in. We've obviously had the announcements the last few days about the land and the vehicles and stuff. But actually, um, yeah, I don't wanna to waste too much time on this and bore everyone to death, uh, but I think just wanted to give you a bit of an indication of what it looked like since the launch from KuCoin. Uh, but let's switch back, I guess, to uh, the let's use Coin Market Cap for example. So when I was looking at this game, it was around about March, April time, and that was before the launch. So if I got in around the thirty nine, forty cents, yeah, you know, obviously fantastic growth to this this point here of six dollars or so. It's phenomenal, and especially the last month in particular, it has been great. It, oh, I'm so annoyed with myself. I really, I'm so annoyed. Uh, you can imagine how many you could accumulate at those lower periods or even the pre-sale. The pre-sale was ridiculous. I can't remember the exact numbers, but I remember sitting there going, I can get how many for these these dollars that I have? Um, there we go. But yeah, it was in Uniswap. I didn't really have flexibility to take time and it's just pure laziness. Less than that, guys, and I will reiterate this. If you see a project that you like out there and it's on Uniswap or something or you get deterred from doing something because of these kind of aspects, please from my my heart try and do what you can to get around that mentality i've been stung with my own fault it's my own fault but i've been stung and i i may regret that because i could have got involved with land and all this stuff and the game hasn't even launched yet probably really so you know there's plenty of more to come than i try and anticipate this this could be one of those like trius or alluvium scenarios where you know the the awareness isn't fully there. I've been following this project; it doesn't mean everyone else has. But I think when people understand what networks about and its capabilities, I think people will really pay attention to this, and it could drive up significantly. And you look at the the market cap detail down here as well. There's definitely, I mean, a pinch of salt. I think that's fairly accurate. Total supply. I've got detail. Maximum supply: 100 million. Uh, there's 31 million in circulating supply. I think that'll go very quickly. 
you can see the numbers that were used for the land and everything um, and how many pieces of land and vehicles are being used right now and this is just the beginning imagine when all the other stuff gets launched and the creativity aspect it's mental so i think the market cap in there is suggesting that we we can definitely achieve higher in this particular game for sure but guys let us know if you're holding network if you were fortunate enough before the pre-sale or when did you get in price point wise with network are you looking at it right now i certainly am i'm i'm so tempted right now and it goes against my principles of waiting and being patient but i said that in the other video and then it's just been going up since i'm not saying that will continue but i'm sort of in the anticipation that i just need to go and do it um i'll see what what i can accumulate together and, and get some but let us know what you think of the project um do go check it out uh, for sure and you know while we're here guys like i'll just give you a bit of a an insight here if you haven't seen the game before this is the first time you're watching a network video very much your avatar being able to create the world that you're in using your controllers and everything to create the terrain and all sorts there's just so much coming for this project guys there's a lot of conceptual vi visuals at the moment so don't get too tied into that because this you get this in all games you get amazingly amazing like trailers and stuff and then the game turns out to be absolute garbage but i think that this network thing is going to be unreal think of like blocktopia times a, a million gazillion because you've got 50 million blocktopia skyscrapers in there and and the rest of the worlds that you go and visit so guys i can't speak more highly of this project go and check it out let us know what you think we'll leave it there thanks for watching we'll see you in a few days time or maybe a week's time for the next network update bye bye